While down here working on some of my RC cars, I figured it would be a good idea to run that same data that we did in our last video through Serial, just so everybody can see what another free option is going to provide for you. So I'm Chad, this is the Easy Astro Images channel. We are going to play with some photons tonight. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this, if you looked at the last video that I did, which I will link right up here, you can see that we went through, did a super aggressive culling of our data, and we stacked the data in PixInsight and in SETI Astro Suite Pro. No update from Frank yet about what's going on with that, so we will keep our fingers crossed. Now, I know Serial is a very attractive option for a lot of people because A, it's free, and B, there's a lot of information out there about it. There's also the little script that I talked about that is in Cyril. You got to go and go to the get scripts and it'll be in there. And I believe it is under utilities. It is called the blink browse filter and sort script and the way it spits things out it's a little bit more difficult because then what you have to do in order to stack your data is you are going to have to take everything that comes out of it and put it into a file folder that simply is just labeled lights which isn't a big deal because we're going to do that anyway. That's what we're going to do right now. So I just set my home directory like you have to do with Serial. This is just kind of how it works to the directory that contains my lights folder. And we're going to go ahead and stack up that data using Nastronomy's uh, pre-processing script, which works Super good. Um, this is really the only go-to thing that you could even use for C-Star Mosaics. It's literally like one click. Now, all I do is just select, this is coming out of my S30 at home. I always click clean up files because I don't really need all of the extra stuff laying around afterwards. I'm on a Windows machine. You can set your max files per batch at whatever you want to. I'm actually a little over 2,000. So I think what I'm going to do is set mine at like, I'm just going to leave it at 2,000. That way nobody has to worry about anything. I am just going to drizzle the data and we are going to drizzle it at two times. And we're going to use a 0.85 Pixel fraction, which I'm not really sure if that means drop shrink or whatever. I've tried the feathering option before. It didn't really do much for me. I've already filtered the data, so I just wanted to stack everything. And as far as post-processing, color calibrations, and all that stuff, I don't really care about any of that. I will do all of it myself. Now, the interesting thing about this script is it plate solves every single image and then it uses the plate solving coordinates to help align everything really easy. So you can see, you know, right here that it says Zy uh, Gaia catalog installed. And I mean, it works freaking great. So, and it's very fast, even on a mediocre type of PC or my Mac, my basic M4 Mac mini, which is still a pretty powerful PC. It runs just fine, runs even better on my 14900K down here as well. So once everything's got done, you literally just click run and it's going to go through and just do its thing. And that did not take long at all. There's our image. And then, of course, if you wanted to go ahead and do some pre-processing in Serial, that is all up to you. What I want to do, though, is I want to move this over to PixInsight and compare it to the images that we produced the other night. And here we go. Let's try to just crop this in a little bit here so we can get something that is a little bit more comparable for us to look at without all of the bad stuff going on here on the outside edges. And then we'll just kind of rotate them here so that way they are both in the same type of orientation. And uh, let's just uh, take a look at them. So again, the PixInsight version offhand does, of course, look a little bit better. The results of everything is just cleaner inside as far as the amount of noise and everything that goes. It's pretty shocking just 
how much better Pixinsight insight actually does work if we take a look here at the little galaxy here let's see if we can get the same kind of preview action going on over here and yeah you could see that uh you know pix insight was able to just kind of clear up the noise and stuff a little bit better just all around everywhere uh the stars look better the stars have more color to them we haven't done any type of aberration remover or anything like that at all but for some bonus content here let's just see what happens if we just go ahead and do just a couple things to each image. Let's see if we are leaving anything on the table or what. So let's correct both of these for aberrations real quick using blur exterminator correct only. And then let's go ahead and solve both of these and we can do a quick color calibration on them. All right, so far so good. Serial image is holding up decently. It doesn't look horrible. Let's run a little bit of star. Now let's run a little bit of noise exterminator on this. We will just use the basic setting on both. And there you go. I mean, you got to zoom in pretty hard. I mean, that looks pretty acceptable to me. A little bit of edges that we still need to clean up a little bit. But obviously, I think the PixInsight version, of course, is still a lot smoother. But the serial image did a very good job. So that is good news, I think, for everybody. Color calibrations, to me, look about the same. Nothing's really standing out for each other. We could apply a quick statistical stretch to each one of these. with a slight curve boost and we will check our preview out and see what that looks like. That looks good. And then we will apply the same thing to the other image. And that looks pretty good as well. So both of our images stretched noise, very minimal inside of the serial one. The Pixin site again is smoother. If we zoom in and look at some of the details out in here, things are looking pretty good. We didn't run any blur exterminator or anything like that. So we could zoom down and take a look at these outer shell details here real quick and see how things are looking and holding up. I think the Pixin Sight one has a little bit better detail and formation than inside there, but you know, just a couple tricks in our ponies here and able everything, you know, turned out just fine. These are two very acceptable images. Obviously, I would probably keep on working on the Pixin Sight and I would have done things a little bit differently. But I mean, you know, the proof is in the pudding and we did exactly everything to the same images and the serial thing is way less resource intensive. It is way faster and it got us 90 to 95% of the results of the PixInsight stack. So the only thing is, is that there's some of these tools that are built into serial the aberration remover works very good. The SBCC works very good, but you know, Cyril kind of like still lacks a lot of the stuff that I would like to see it have that SETI Astros system pro and picks inside has. So especially when it comes to the exterminators, because nobody has been able to duplicate anything close to that yet, except for Ricardo's aberration remover you can use graxpert denoise and if you want to play in and out of the programs you could play with their deconvolution settings even though i found that even with thousands of images you really have to go a light touch with things like blur exterminator and certain deconvolution methods you are better off to refine your detail by doing things with various sharpening techniques like multi-scale linear transform or 
some of the HDR or IHDR scripts that I really want to talk about in some upcoming videos. But I thought this was worth a demonstration for myself and for everybody else that wanted to see exactly what the serial stuff would do and how it holds up to Pixinsight. So there you go. We'll do more comparisons maybe in the future, but you know, like I said, for now, I think I'll stick to Pixinsight, except when it comes to mosaics, like Cyril still is the key and thumbs up to Nastronomy and the Cyril people for being able to make this work. You guys have done an incredible job. I am very happy and very impressed. And this really opens up a lot of possibility for us C-Star users to process a lot more data. So I will just keep feeding that beast and feeding the Pix Insight beast, and we will see which one breaks first. So that's it. We will talk to you guys later. Appreciate you all. Peace.